Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where and when you're watching this. I'm your host, Chase Majerus, your money millennial. <laughs> there's, there's so much happening right now. Rates are continually rising. There continues to be uncertainty regarding China's economy. There's a corporation profit squeeze forecasted for 2019 for U.S. companies, and that's not good. Home sales data has led to crazy stock market volatility. I mean, so much so that last week, the Dow Jones average gave up all of its year-to-date gains one day, and the very next got it all back. It's like an Avengers movie out there, man. All of our favorite characters are in play. Now, I'd love to unravel all of that, but we have so much more to talk about on This Week Today, brought to you by Synergy One Lending. So let's get to that. If you normally watch this show, you know I'm always talking about upticks in mortgage rates, high home prices, movies, and of course, housing inventory levels, which I would like to point out is starting to grow. But Daryl Fairweather, the chief economist at Redfin, says buyers are being choosy, and she seems to be correct. I mean, a lot of the larger and more expensive metro markets have posted near double-digit declines in sales because buyers want to be absolutely sure that the home they buy is a home they will stay in for years to come. Mm, that sounds so wholesome, neighbor, but really annoying that even after newly listed homes rose over 3.5% in September, sales also fell over 4.5% year over year. Beige, an earthy color associated with being conservative or neutral. Beige book, not that. Last Wednesday, the Beige Book was released and told stories of modest to moderate economic expansion, the likes of which would necessitate another rate hike in December. A lot of sources had some not so great things to say about the already implemented rate hikes, including Jim Cramer. You see more and more bad earnings because 5% mortgage is the end. That is the line in the city. And a certain president, they think it only serves to get in the way of a high powered economy. But in the big picture, with higher wages and prices in the report, a rate hike in December is more certain than me crying in the theater while I watch We're A Star is Born. So I mentioned earlier that housing supply shortages are finally starting to reverse their course. First American says it's still the primary culprit behind the housing market performance gap between actual existing home sales and the market potential for home sales. It doesn't help that many current homeowners won't be leaving their homes anytime soon because a lot have mortgages with rates well below the current rate. It doesn't take a genius to know that if you want to buy with today's rates, it'll be a lot more expensive than your existing monthly mortgage payment. Therefore, it's reasonable to say that if you want to be a homeowner, strike now. Come on, millennials, I'm looking at you. Yeah, mortgage rates are a little bit higher than they have been in a long time. Historically, they're quite low. But the longer you wait, the more time home prices have to grow and rates will go up. I believe the time is now. If you're looking for a mortgage lender that keeps up with an ever-evolving industry, check out Synergy One Lending. Economic calendar update, commence. Home price index from S&P CoreLogic on Tuesday. MBA mortgage applications, which did bounce back last week on Wednesday. Construction spending, which should give more insight on inventory on Thursday. And the employment situation on Friday. Thank you for joining me on This Week Today. To learn more about the awesome company that makes this show happen, check out s1lending.com or download our app, S1 Connect, which is like super easy to use. And you can get pre-approved online. I'm your host, Chase Majerus. You can find Synergy One or myself on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Keep your head on a swivel, everyone. It's pretty crazy out there.